big developing story as a federal court says Phillips Respironics must stop making sleep apnea machines at three facilities in Westmoreland County. The ruling comes amid claims Phillips failed to comply with measures to ensure the safety of its CPAP machines. Ross Gadotti has more. In a consent decree reached between the FDA, Justice Department, and Phillips Respironics, the company has agreed to stop manufacturing breathing machines and ventilators made at company facilities in Murraysville, New Kensington, and Mount Pleasant. Now, this comes after a recall of millions of the devices used to treat sleep apnea. Were recalled due to concerns that foam used in the machines could degrade and result in potential cancer risks. My answer to that is it's about time. Um, this has been going on. Uh, there's been complaints about the machine since as far back as 2010. Richard Callender has used a Philips Respironic CPAP machine for years. In 2015, I had a bilateral lung transplant. And in 2021, I had a kidney transplant. Given that, when he heard about the recall, Calendar did what he says the company told him to do and sent it back for a refund, replacement, or repair. They said they would expedite it. It took them two, over two years, two years with my conditions. And it's absolutely unforgivable. The decree mandates that Phillips Respironics outline options to make sure what happened to Mr. Calendar won't happen to others. It also says United States production plants must overhaul their manufacturing and quality control systems and hire independent experts to vet any of the changes. Unfortunately, you know, the situation is still ongoing. People have machines out there still. As for the company, Phillips CEO Roy Jacobs said strengthening patient safety and quality remains Phillips highest priority and the increased scrutiny will help us improve even more. With the agreement on the consent decree for Phillips Respironics in place, we now have a clear path forward to gradually restore the business serving patients around the world. Richard Callender says that's great, but while he thinks the company is at fault, he tells KDKA Washington also dropped the ball. I believe that there should be a heavy investigation into the FDA and why there wasn't any action taken sooner. They seem to turn a blind eye on that. In Lower Burl, Ross Gadotti, KDKA TV News.